Hi everyone, thank you so much for popping by my channel. Now, in this video, I am going to show you my sales update for January 2017. As most of you may be aware, that I only I'm just a part time eBay. -er. Or reseller in part time. So I'm gonna go through some of these items I've managed to sell last month. So I managed to sell 52 items, and I took just uh, under 600 quid. Most of the stuff is uh, I tend to sell are from cardboard sales. I pick them up cardboard sales. I've very rare I, I'll go to second hand shops and charity shops to pick this stuff up. So the usual stuff, your badges, I can't I kind of get fed up with selling badge. Now there's no money in selling badge, let's put it this way. For example if you look, I've sold that for £1.62. Now, if you think about it, eBay cost, PayPal fee, the, uh, the padded envelope, you have to send it, your time. I don't think you'll make both well, out of one, 160. You're looking at less than 10 pence probably profit between 10 to, I guess, about 20 pence. So is that worth your time and hassle? Sell these badges. But the only reason I do it is just to get more feedback so people who buy this stuff just leave you good feedback so i encourage people who are starting ebay business earlier on so to sell less expensive product just to build up your feedback now here this is a good one i paid four quid for this sing-along cd player karaoke i've sold a few of those before so i paid four pound and I managed to get 24.87, so that was a good sell. Next item is another badge, as you can see, vintage. Another badge, so it's not worth me showing this stuff. Uh, love gone. Winter time, very difficult to get rid of, so I bought down. I had this for £12, not selling, so I decided to chop it down to £8 something. Yeah, I probably may roughly about 150 to quit profit on that one that's fine Xbox 360 game that was quite nice and I've noticed not many people are selling these jeans a gap they tend to concentrate on Levi's and other high high-end brands whereas I'm thinking look there's a market there so I picked this pair up for two quid and just the spare went for fourteen sixty five. That was a good buy, good sell. Now, these are the old cassette, the tape. Max only one ninety. Now that went for twelve pound fifty six, and I think I paid um, five quid. It's not bad. I did ask for. I tried to put on the high end 19 quid first, never sold, so I decided to knock it down, so it went. Um, another CD. Here, VTech Storio Interactive Rating System. I think I paid 4 quid, and that went for 15.98. That's quite nice. A board game, Battleship. Paid pound for it, went for nine ninety six, and uh, this is a Sony alarm clock vintage. Now I paid two quid, and managed to get nineteen forty six on that one. That was a really really good sell. So whenever you need a cardboard sell or around your charity shop if you know I used to see one of those grab it um, now 
I tend to sell a few of these Nike shoes. This is a Nike Ladies Air size 6, 2075. Picked it up for four quid. So what I'm trying, I've learned now, and this is a very interesting trap star. I sell a lot of these um, baseball caps. I tend to pay not more than three quid each. The highest I'll pay about two fifty to two pound each, and I stick to my price. I had them at twelve ninety five, so I reduced a bit. I badminton racket. I paid. It was a bundle. I paid. It was a, like a big bundle. I bought five pound all sort of stuff in there, and that I guess is worth about. I paid about a pound for it. And that went for 1437. That was a good buy again. Here, one of those dinosaurs, a robotic dinosaur, 30 inch toy. Yep, yeah. I paid five quid for it and I managed to get 21.50. And recently, I've noticed I'm selling a lot of belts so starting to sell belts ladies belts now this one is what uh, H&M &M, H&M paid a pound for it I got 12.25 back again as you can see my usual um, baseball cap a pair of Nike Air Force one Paid four pound, and that went for twenty two ninety five. Another Nike Air Force twenty one sixty three paid also four quid, and I've bought from China. I think I've got some of those iPhone cable charger I'm doing quite well with those that's nice again as you can see another cap and here an interesting is an orange and white Nike Dunk High Rear Autumn Jordans and I managed to get 26.95 and I paid I think I paid five pound for those that was good an old bottle opener screw cut shape vintage bottle cork screw uh, I had that for $14.95 so I decided to drop it down I paid I paid a bit over the top of this I paid 4 quid so I managed to get back get my money back on that so, and it went international um, global shipping program so that was quite nice uh, again as you can see again Baseball caps, um, River Island Bowen jeans, size 14, 1681, paid two quid for it. Um, board game, uh, Wellington Wally, Wellington boots. Now that took a quite while to sell. It took me over five months. Um, 1411. That's quite nice. Now these magazines, you may be thinking, who the hell is buying these magazines? This Vogue, Vogue magazine here, seven ninety three. And again, as you can see, look, belt, Tulsa Governor men's leather belt. I paid four quid. I managed to get twenty two eighty four, and that was going international shipping. Global shipping program again, Dr. Martin. Now, this is now since I started uh, heavily selling on eBay, and this is my I guess one of my this is one of my fastest seller. I was got gobsmacked. I uh, 
even before I, I hardly list, listed the item you know I've done the listing I press the button to go live and within 10 minutes it's like 3 in the morning I listed it and within 10 minutes somebody actually bought this for $28.95 so that I could not believe my eyes I thought wow now I paid um, I think I paid 8 quid so whenever you see a Dr. Martin airwear with bouncing soul 501 grab it you know you can sell it straight away again as you can see um, CDs charger now I used to be reluctant selling these ceramic cups now here I managed to sell a set of four floral tea cups mugs $8.97 and again I found the, the, the problem with selling ceramic stuff you know cups and mugs and all the rest of it excuse me is when the shipping is always a problem you know they tend to get broken on shipping and post office stuff I always find if I'm shipping with company like my homies they always tend to smash it up but they're good at paying back so that's good they always refund your money back so that's good I never had any problem with Royal Mail sending ceramic and, uh, and this is quite interesting now here uh, I bought some of these um, Star Wars coin bank old Star Wars figure as you can see old Star Wars figure there now a guy was selling three of those and he wanted 15 quid for the lot I've managed to get them for 10 quid it's all dirty they were all you know you showed me I was in loft and he had them years and I had to bring it in, clean it all up and put some new batteries out so I wasn't sure they're gonna work or not and believe it or not it worked and two of these Star Wars figures went to the global shipping program and this is what I managed to get get them $24.95 so one person bought those two $24.95 so you're looking at 50 quid for two so that was excellent return on on the investment of 10 quid for three now that was brilliant sell and here we have some bags and some CD players now here uh, ladies uh, high dunks wage trainer paid six quid and I managed to get $20.95 I did have them I had them for $24.95 but I reduced it for a quick sell now this is quite interesting I always tend to sell this always whenever I see them in a car boot sale I always pick them up Tommy portable baby unit the digital baby monitors um, paid I think five quid and I managed to get 1998 out of it I said, whenever you see a baby anything to do with baby monitor baby um, baby unit security unit just grab them because they they tend to be they just go fly over your shelf and lastly I just started selling these medical grow flower magic flower seeds I bought them last year I think uh, on a B&Q store they were knocking them for a quid each, so I bought uh, tons of those and this year I'm gonna knock the price down to get rid of them I got about 35 in stock so some people are selling these for 14.95 so I decided I'm gonna knock them down so it goes 
goes uh, tend to sell off fast so I can get rid of them so there you are so as you can see I guess for a part time it's not bad 600 quid is a good taking I can really if I put my mind to it and uh, add more stuff and all the other bits there I can really push myself but you know I have other commitments so it does take time and the one thing I've I've one thing I've keep telling myself not to get not to get wound up or frustrated about a seller if it's not you know one month you have a less item selling don't get you know don't think too much I wound up or the your sales dropped or this or that um next month you'd make up for it and it's best to keep your mind off things you know look for the items that sells and the things motivation when I when, when you get feedback like now my feedback is up to what well, almost um, I'm looking at 900 feedback now if I press this and um, Whenever I I don't usually tend to look at this feedback, but if I if I read these feedbacks, it's breath of fresh air. Whenever you see these fantastic feedback from customers, there's there's a few I'm gonna read up. This is very prompt and professional service. Camera very well, great service. Now these are uh, look red stars so look on the red stars see uh thanks great seller as described thanks please with the item sellers super seller super fast delivery very happy thank you very pleased with item highly recommended look at this fast delivery beautiful corkscrew received the time i mean when whenever you see these things this is what's get me going you know and most of you are probably the feedback from customers always gets you going and sheer hard work will get there don't loosen i always get sometime you may not like what you the comment you get but do not react Keep on, keep on the positive things going. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other videos. Please click like button, subscribe button and make comment. Thank you so much.